everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So first of all, Happy New Year. This is the first video that I'm recording this year and I'm just back from vacation with my family. It was so funny. So I give a little break from YouTube and Instagram and all the social medias that I have. So I took a little bit of time for me with my family and now I'm here in a new place. I changed of home, I'm here in a new state in Brazil, in south of the Brazil actually. And I really like this place, especially because it's colder and I really love winter and this is my favorite season. So that's it. And for today's makeup look, I'm gonna show you how to do a beautiful makeup look for Valentine's Day. And I hope that you like. I'm gonna go for a more neutral look so everybody you can use it and recreate this makeup look and match with any look that you want. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you still didn't hit the notification bell to make sure that you get all the news when I upload it and without any further ado, let's get started. To start off this look, I'm going to do my skin first and I'm going to start off applying the Hangover Primer with Coconut Water. This is a refreshing face primer and I love this primer because it's moisturizer as well. So I'm going to apply this product all over my face, massaging really well to make sure that it gets all inside of my pores and hide it as well. So as you can see, my skin is breaking out a little bit from my vacation and all that stuff. As you can see, I have a little bit of medicine to cure my acne and that's why my skin is a little crazy but don't worry we're gonna make it work For foundation, I'm gonna use Fit Me by Maybelline, one of my favorites at the moment and I really love this foundation because it's a thin texture with a great amount of coverage. I really love the color as well. I'm using Ivory shade and to apply this foundation, I'm gonna use the 3D HD Max Kabuki brush. I love this brush so much and I really love the form of this brush because it's amazing to spread it out all over my face. So I just fill my brows a little bit with a little bit of brown eyeshadow and an angled brush. You can use any brown eyeshadow that you want. For concealer, I'm gonna use Burn This Way by Too Faced and this is the shade Fair. To blend this concealer in my skin, I'm gonna use this crazy brush right here but I really love it because it's amazing and gives me a beauty blender effect. I really love it but what I like the most is that this brush don't soak all the product so I blend really well but I have the product in my skin I really love the form of this brush because I can hit all the corners of my eyes and this is the 4D HD Kabuki brush I love this brush because it blends out so smoothly and creates an eye brush effect in the skin
Now I'm gonna contour my face using one of my favorite products ever and this is the Contour Stick by Artist of Makeup. I'm using the shade Medium. And to blend this contour in my skin, I'm gonna use the Curved Kabuki Brush by Sigma. I love the form of this brush because I can blend really well any areas of my contour. So now I'm gonna set all this makeup in my face and I'm gonna use the translucent powder by Too Faced. So this is one of the best powders for me. I also love so much the Laura Mercier one. So to apply this powder in my face, I'm gonna use the Edgy Kabuki Brush by Sigma. Look this brush. Oh my god, this is so funny. And I really love this brush because I can place exactly where I want the product, as you can see. Okay, so it's been about 5 minutes and to remove the excess powder of my face, I'm gonna use this palette duster brush. This one is also one of my favorite because it's very soft and I love it. So what I remove from the concentrated area of powder in my face where I want to highlight, I'm gonna place the same powder in the rest of my face. Okay, so now for my eyes, I'm gonna use a eyeshadow base and I'm gonna use my favorite as always because I always use this eyeshadow base and this is the Paint Pots of Joker by MAC. I'm gonna apply using a brush because today I have these long nails, so you know. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this product with a brush. Let me grab one. So this one I'm gonna apply with a concealer brush. So I already did this side and I really love how it turned out so I'm gonna show you how to do this amazing makeup look. And for this look I'm gonna use this palette from Stila, this is called Spirit, I really love this. And look these colors, oh my god. So I'm gonna start off this look using this light brown eyeshadow in the outer corner of my eyes. Following up I'm gonna apply this light beige shade in the tear duct area and also below for my brows to highlight a little bit and next I'm gonna apply this darker brown shade in the outer V just to create more depth in this look as you can see here and this magical plum touch I'm gonna tell you later on
Now in my crease with a big fluffy brush like this, I'm gonna apply this amazing... Ooh! <laughs> in my crease, I'm gonna apply this color and this is a blush. I'm gonna use the shade Pine Strip by... Ooh, this is the balm. I love this color. It's very winter shade. So I'm gonna apply just a little bit with this fluffy brush. I'm gonna blend this shade in my crease and also a little bit in the lower lash line of my eyes to hold all the look together. So with just a little bit of my brush, I'm gonna tap off the excess. And I'm gonna blend this product in circular motions. So just to give you one more option for you guys, you can leave it like this, very soft and smooth look. But I want to make this look a little more dramatic and I'm going to do as I did in this side. I'm going to apply just a little more of a darker color in the outer V, but you can do it however you want. You can just leave it like this if you want. You don't have to apply a lot of blush here as I did as well. But I did this step because I'm going to create a more dramatic look, so I have to put more colors layering to blend between each other. Now using this smaller blending brush, apply this darker shade right here, this shade from the palette, and I'm gonna create more depth in my eyes. So now for my fake lashes, I'm gonna use a new style from Velour Lashes and this is Wisp, it's real good. So I just applied... Oops! Oh my god! <laughs> wow! <laughs> so I just applied my fake lashes and look how gorgeous this is. Oh my god, look at this. It's stunning and I love this. is one of my favorites right now. I love these lashes so much. So now I'm gonna use the same blush that I used in my eyes in my cheeks. And I'm gonna apply using the same brush as before that I used to spread out all the excess powder of my face. Now this part is optional, I can leave it like this, everything matte, or I can apply just a little bit of highlighter and I'm gonna use the Mary Luminizer by The Balm because I love the color, it's kind of pale champagne shade, it's amazing. And to apply this highlighter, I'm gonna use the Spotlight Duster brush, no, 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 my god, this is High Cheek Balm Highlighter Brush by Sigma. I'm so dumb today. <laughs> And I'm gonna apply this highlighter in the highest point of my face to lift everything. For my lips today, I'm gonna use a liquid lipstick, but before I'm gonna line my lips and I'm gonna use the shade Ecstasy, this is the lip liner by George Cosmetics. You can use Melissa SB, no, you can use Melissa GC for 30% off in georgecosmetics.com. So I'm gonna just line my lips using this shade.
The liquid lipstick that I'm going to use today is Marcia by BH Cosmetics. It's a pretty nude shade. So that's it for this look my lovies, I absolutely love how this look turned out and I really hope that you enjoyed it as well, much as I did because whoa, for me is the best, these matte eyeshadows, I love matte makeup looks. But today I only used the highlighter but just a little bit because I really love how this look turned out as it is. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you still didn't, hit the notification bell to make sure that I get all the news when I upload it, like this video if you did and that's it. See you later in the next tutorials. Bye!